These characters need speed, and if you don't have speed in these characters, you're doing something wrong. Mara Jade should honestly be one of the fastest, if not the fastest, non-galactic legend in your roster. Mara Jade is a fantastic character, and they need speed. Now, why does Mara Jade... Ma Ma <sighs> Mara Jade can open up with a stun. If they're in a Palpatine team, they also take a bonus turn because for every debuff they're inflicting, they gain a bonus turn meter. They are also giving Palpatine turn meter when they use this ability uh, if you have the Zeta. Overall, Mara Jade is so important for getting out of the blocks and stunning someone, controlling the opposition team. So you go up against Padme Cat, you stun Commander Soka, you stun Padme, you stun Anakin, you stun who you want, but they're controlled. So for that reason, Mara Jade is unbelievably important to have at high speeds. And another character who's very important at high speeds, guys, you know who's coming, it's Dash Render. Now some of you are probably going, Glummit, why do we need Dash to be faster? I don't want to do it. Well, I'm going to tell you, stop, listen to me. I'm telling you now, Dash is a fantastic fast character. Now why is Dash so important? Well, his is partly down to his unique. Dash is unique, as it reads here, whenever a prepared ally t uh, scores a critical hit, they're gaining turn meter. This is super, super important because any character who gives turn meter is normally a very good candidate to be a fast character. Now, we're not when we say fast characters, we're not talking about just characters who are, you know, plus 100, plus 80, plus 90. Obviously, this is relative. If you're low GP, that might be fast. What we normally mean, however, is those plus 130, plus 140, plus 150, maybe even plus 170 or plus 180 speed characters. Um, but any character who gives turn meter gains is so crucial to go first because if they go first before anyone else they do the turn to gain all of a sudden your team goes before their team even if you're at a mod disadvantage and that is why dash is such a good candidate for high speed um also on his lead uh, he is giving 10 speed to support and healers doubled for light side scoundrels so my dash was 300 and 32 speed now after calculations he's actually 352 speed uh, it does make a difference now this is not a very fast dash by any means there's much much faster out there but again it's all relative to your mods but if you have dash he should be one of your faster characters in your roster and next we have a character who i know you guys knew was coming and i obviously knew it was coming it's bad badge echo not to be confused with regular echo there's a big difference here guys bad batch echo first normal echo don't bother this echo however he's going first because he's giving turn meter he's also going to be setting the team up for this stun now if he doesn't go first you, you kind of screw yourself over but he is a fantastic character to go first and you know what's even better he's also one of the fastest characters in the game just to show you my mods here uh, we only have plus 139, but we're 337 speed. Now, um, the elite uh, Bad Badge Echoes are looking at about 370 to 380 speed. Uh, obviously, mine is nowhere near that. But as long as you're reaching, I'd say, 300 to 350 speed, you're in a good position. Bad Batch Echo is a fantastic character. Uh, Gideon, we all know, is a fantastic character. He is the ultimate plug-and-play character because he can remove 100% of their turn meter so he basically re removes everyone's turn meter by 100% including your team but then your team gain 25% and this is so crucial being able to remove everyone's turn meter is just absolutely ridiculous um, and then just to top it off you know you're also boosting your team to have 25% turn meter so you're guaranteed to go first if Gideon goes first, you're in for a good day. Fantastic character, and he can even make Krennic win battles, so he must be quite good. Um, in terms of speeds, honestly, yeah, you're looking at about 350 speed for a decent Gideon, 380 plus for a good Gideon. Um, those elite ones are just bonkers, guys. Uh, now, again, you don't need these exact speeds. You just need something similar, something um, that works out with your roster. Say in your roster, your fastest character is 100 speed, then that could be Gideon. And that's fine, because it's all relative to your account. Next up, we actually have Shakti. 
Um, now, Shakti is another character who's inherently fast. Um, they are a very, very quick character. I mean, what is my Shakti sitting at today? My Shakti is currently 314 speed. Not the best, not the worst. But why do you want Shakti to be fast? Well, here's the thing. They are now a plug and play character. Use them with JML if you want to use them with JML. You can use them with JMK if you want to use them with JMK. You can use them with Padme. You can use them with Troopers to beat Lord Vader, which is really cool. You can use them with Bad Badge. You can use them with clones. You can use them with literally any team you could imagine. And why is that? Guys, do you remember what we said? Any character who gives turn meter gains is already a candidate to be your fastest. Next up, we have another really important character. That is actually Rex. Now, why is Rex such a good candidate to be a fast character? Because let me show you his mods. You're going to say, hey, Glomit, what is this? And I'm going to say, I know, I understand, it sucks. My Rex is plus 128. Now, my Rex is very, very slow. I'm actually trying out having him a bit slower and putting a faster mods on other characters. But in general, you're looking at plus 128 speed which means he has a base 166 speed that is not fast guys current characters are base 190 which means you're always at a disadvantage in terms of speed but here's the thing guys are you ready here's the thing so if you've got rex and his unique is giving him 4% speed for each father first ally at the start of the battle and it is the speed of your character divided by in brackets one minus and then naught point how much turn meter so it'd be for example in rex's case it'd be like 300 divided by one minus naught point two and then close the brackets and add it up and that will give you the essential speed of your character after turn meter gains so by working these things out you can actually see that even a slow rex in terms of the new characters you know he's not you know he's not 190 speed or higher but when it comes to the actual battles he's actually very very fast he's gonna be going first and guess what he has guys he has a turn meter game it already makes him a fantastic candidate to have fast mods and rex is 100 worth having fast next up we actually have sortie one of the newer characters in the game sortie is so important to have fast in fact i am priding myself on the fact that i have a top 10 fastest sortie in the game right now um now some of you will say sort is a bit of a waste because they gain so much passive speed if you have bb8 in this lineup sorties at my my sortie for example is about 680 speed after calculations um which means they <laughs> go before galactic legends they go before literally any team in existence phasma omicron tire pilot omicron qui-gon uh, dash team zamara jade anyone Sortie's going first. And this is so, so important for having any success with the droid team because if they go first, they pull back turn meter because of that's what the special is doing. And then you also just cause issues that way. Sortie's a fantastic candidate to have fast, uh, but they are a bit of a niche one because they're already very fast. So you're only really making them this fast if you want to counter certain team. And next up, we have the first of the two Revens. Now, this is not in any particular order. The first three were probably my favorite three to have the fastest. These ones here are just very fast ones, uh, but you can have them as your fastest or you can have them as uh, your, your slower on the list. And it is Jedi Knight Revan. Now, why is Jedi Knight Revan so important for speed? Well, Jedi Knight Revan and can turn me to swap on turn one this is the reason you want him to be fast because say you have jedi knight luke jedi knight luke is inherently a slow character a very very slow character you can actually swap the turn meter from revan to jedi knight luke and you can stun the opposition team once they're stunned you can do whatever you want to do because you've succeeded in life uh, he can also mark down he can cause issues like in general it's very important to have a fast revan um especially as he is the plug and play of Jedi. Use him with JML. You can use him in some JMK lineups. Not very common, but it does happen. You can use him with Ray. You can use him in almost any lineup. And now we have the other of the Revens. We have Darth Revan. Now, Darth Revan is a character who I always say I wouldn't make him the fastest in your roster. By this, I mean don't make him 350, 360, 370 speed. However, he should definitely be 300 plus and it depends on where you are in the game if you're lower gp then obviously having revan 
at those very fast levels is going to win you battles. It just depends on where you're at. But here's the thing, guys. Revan with decent speed is always going to be good because if he goes first, he uses his um, fear and then all of a sudden the opposition team is stalled and does not do anything. Um, also, if you have Malgus having a fast Revan does work very, very good. And finally, we have a character who maybe you won't have fast in the past, but you should have fast now. And that is Zam. Why should Zam be fast? Well, guys, there's a trend here. Zam actually gives bonus stats to your team. She's giving speed to your team just by existing. So for that reason, she should be fast because that speed is calculated off her maximum speed after stat increases. Um... Aim for about 300 speed, she, people used to aim for about 330, 340, uh, but that was mainly to counter Starkiller and unfortunately Mara Jades are now too fast, uh, which is a reason you need a fast Mara Jade, because if you don't, this Zam Bounty Hunter team will be giving you a hard time. And you thought, really, that I would have missed out on Piet? <laughs> of course Piet needs to be fast. Um, also he needs those 6 dot triangles. Um, arrows, triangles, circles, what are they? I think they're arrows. Um, which, guys, we actually got it since last stream, or last video. Uh, why does Piet need to be fast? He's giving bonus tummy to the team. It's kind of self explanatory. He starts the battle, he gives this this 10% tummy to every time someone takes a turn. It's also going to be calling Dark Trooper to assist. It's just a fantastic ability, and Piet should be one of your faster characters in the game. Just remember, he does gain 20 speed from Veer's lead, so if you aim for about 300 speed, you should be in a good position. The elite Piets, though, are 340, 350, 360, but if you can get about 300 to 330 speed, you should be having a good time thank you all for watching the video if you've made it this far please consider giving it a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments do you agree with my choices for fast characters in swaggo i hope you all have a good day my name is glermit and i hope you have a glermin day